quick overview of the original source properties in HubSpot. So these are really helpful because they are automatically tracked um, in any HubSpot portal. These properties, you cannot edit them or delete them. So um, if you find yourself in a messy situation with any of your source data, you can always fall back to this. Um, so it's really helpful. And the three properties that you're looking for are called original source, original source drill down one, and original source drill down two, all the way over here. Um, so do, do, do quick overview. You can kind of see how this data is laid out. More importantly, for any troubleshooting that you want to do, um, it's easy to go to the report builder. So I've just created a standard uh, contact report. Um, I've added the original source properties to our data set and filtered for uh, all time, all contacts ever created, because we want to see where there might be gaps. Um, we drag the original source by count of contacts. You can immediately see quick overview of where everyone has come from. But um, if you're having, if you're troubleshooting something, it's likely that you're going to need a little bit more information than this. So let's put the original source drill down one into the mix, stack that so that it's more visually helpful. And then you can um, just drill down a little bit further. So here's direct traffic. We can see a lot of these are actually being created from meeting links that we have set up um, and, and just some different website pages. So let me swap that out for drill down two, just to show you the uh, level of granularity you can get here. Restack them. Um, let's look at that direct traffic again. So for this direct traffic in particular, we don't have a second drill down value. So that's the, the most you can get on those. But if we look at our offline sources, for example, um, it's showing you uh, these are imports. You can see exactly who made that import. Uh, you can see the names of the integrations that contributed to these contacts from offline sources. Um, yeah, so that's just a quick overview of the original source properties. You might want to click into these to see the specific contacts, drill into the records, and that's an easy way to identify exactly what's going on with uh, the sources for all of your HubSpot contacts.